Hey there guys, how's it going? It is been raining on us pretty much all day. It is May 29th. As you can see, I'm in the John Deere 9620R. You can see water pooling. Yeah. It's wet, it's mucky. I don't know how much rain we've gotten. I think they were calling for another three quarters of an inch. But just look at this slop. We are still disking grass. It is 911 on getting this grass broke. It actually wasn't, as you know, because I have all year to break the grass, but I was out spraying where I need to put canola last night. And I don't know if I'm gonna get it seeded. It is just pure muck. Probably needs to get floated on with something that I don't have currently. And everybody is very busy floating, everybody's on. And since this was grass, this grass has actually soaked up a lot of the moisture. So this is actually the driest field that I've been on. So I might be moving acres around. This was supposed to go to oats. I was just gonna see this to oats because I figured, you know, it's probably gonna be pretty late. It's just, you know, it's not a high priority. It wasn't a high priority because the rest of the ground was the highest priority. Well, now the rest of the ground might not be able to get seeded and I am like 10 days away from my deadlines because there's deadlines. You know, you gotta have your crop seeded by a certain time or it's gonna freeze on the back end, right? It can still freeze on the back end even if you seeded it early. But if you don't, if you wait too long, it's definitely gonna freeze. Oh, 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 we're spinning. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Like just muck, eh? We're just, we're just, we're just playing in the mud now. And really, other than a few spots, the grass actually isn't that bad. Like it's not awesome. It's muddy, but uh, it's breaking not bad. Our slippage is between well seven and ten percent. Pulling a twenty-two foot disc, which is an easy pull, by the way. So that tells you about how slippery it is outside. So again, now it's now it's critical. We're gonna try and get this broke and uh, maybe maybe move canola acres over here, get this beat down with the pro till if the weather will cooperate with us. And uh, and I don't then maybe put the oats where I was gonna put the canola in like July if it ever dries up. So we'll see how all this is gonna go down. These are the challenges of apparently being up north. This is all new to me. You guys gotta remember, I'm a flatlander. I shouldn't say I'm a, definitely a flatlander, but I'm definitely a drylander. Like we don't have moisture problems, all right? We have lack of moisture problems. Up here, we're having the exact opposite. We have moisture problems. We don't want any more rain. Shut the tap off, shut the tap off. No more rain. <laughs> and then about give us two weeks. Holy crap, it's getting dry. We better get a rain. That's every farmer, right? That's every farmer. But no, seriously, it's 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 gonna be it's a challenge trying to get a crop seeded. We're back home, we're still dry, right? We're still dry. We're, we still can't buy a rain back home. So uh these are the challenges that we're facing. It's just a steady rain out there. You guys can't actually make it out, but it is a steady rain. Donald's gonna come and shift me off. I'm actually gonna run to the farm. Uh, and I'm gonna grab the Fed 2 track, 1167, help me through the pro till and see if I can't just start busting through some of this grass because it's so it's so soft right now. Like obviously pro tails don't do well in mud because you can pl you can uh, plug that roller up. Believe me, I did a video about that a couple falls ago. But this grass. I just want to see. It might not work, but if it would work, due to I have notched blades front and back on that Dagon Pro Tail, maybe, maybe I can speed this breaking up a little bit. And really, we got nothing else to do. We got nothing else to do because, like, it's mucky, it's wet, we can't see. It. Even if it is supposed to rain all day and all night and maybe till noon tomorrow. 
even if it was to shut off right now, which is noon, actually it's not, it's only 11 a.m., we, we probably still couldn't see for a full day with sun out. So we're gonna have some time to start busting down on some of this grass, which is our priority. So as the uh, day passes on here, we actually judge how wet it's getting by our slippage, which has been more consistently in the teens. And then once we hit that 20 some percent mark, well then I guess we're just gonna have to shut down because we're just spinning like crazy. And you get way more slippage when you go on the work stuff because it's just so muck, it's muddy now. It's not bad if you can just stay on the grass, but you still gotta go out onto this work stuff just to Two percent, twenty-five percent. Yeah, it's just mud back there. Let's get out and take a peek, shall we? Ah, my duels are filling up. Triples are filling up. Oh my goodness, I got mud squirting out of my rims. Oh, that pains me. Oh, we're going to have to shut down. <laughs> oh, I'm making a mess of the tractor. You guys know I don't like getting things dirty. Heck, I have uh, Maverick side-by-sides and they never go into anything dirty or muddy. I like to keep them clean. Oh. Look at the roots on this alfalfa. Isn't that insane? And they go a lot deeper than that. Well, my shoes are wet already. When I say shoes, I mean my, my toesies. Well, you can easily make mud balls. The grass actually isn't too bad just working up that grass but it's once you expose this soil to the rain for a little while it gets really muddy and this is what we don't want to happen we don't want to start plugging stuff up here and I think we're right near that crucial point of can we keep going a little longer or <sighs> these are tough calls Huh. Just raining. Well, I might just keep busting up this grass and just, I don't know, keep going a little bit longer maybe. Like I said, once we hit them the 20% slip when we're just spinning all the time, it's just that this top, even the grass is starting to get greasy, even for the tractor. And the tractor weighs 60,000 pounds. And this is an easy pull, so that's saying something. There'll be water starting to sit in this pretty soon. I'm not gonna bring the pro tail out, it's no sense. I'm just gonna waste my time, rub my yard all up. It just is what it is here, I guess. I'm gonna try to keep going a little bit longer and brutal. So update what we're doing here, what I'm trying is I'm just uh, not doing my headlands first, I'm just turning on the grass so I don't have to drive on the soil once it's been exposed. But you can see how the water's starting to pool out there a little bit. It's raining pretty good. This might buy us maybe another hour at best. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, yeah.
Oh, my rim's pooping. This is painful. Trick is, is to stay off the stuff that you've worked. <laughs> Good thing we got mud scrapers, that's all I have to say, although we're starting to plug up here on the ends. Oh, I don't like that. That means crowbar work. Well, I think that's gonna be it, guys. I think we're gonna wait. It's supposed to rain all day, all night. But I don't wanna have to do a bunch of barring, you know. A little bit on the end is manageable. But a whole pile of barring is not fun. Not fun. So I'll let you guys go and we'll keep you updated on how all this grass is gonna go. I might come out here with a sprayer. Oh, I should mention too that nine times out of 10, nine times, you always spray the grass before you break it. At least I do, that's my personal opinion. Give it enough time so that way the chemical can translocate down to the uh, roots of the alfalfa. That's the hardest one to kill permanently. That stuff's like a bad weed. Um, but this year, we kind of made the decision to let the grass grow. Um, we are in excessive moisture up here. And this grass growing and everything growing is sucking up moisture. It takes moisture to grow, hence it's all green. It's sucking it up. And I want that moisture as much sucked up as possible. <laughs> and then we're going to just flip it over and we're going to pro-till the stuffing out of it. And we're obviously ripping all the roots out, as you can see, a lot of the roots. And then there will be a new flush of it, and then hopefully we can get a burn off, a really good burn off on it before we seed it. That's kind of our plan. And maybe I come out and spray some, because I don't want it to get too tall though. That's the thing. I don't care if it's green, sucking moisture. I just don't want it to get too tall because it's more foliage than I gotta try and get worked up, chopped up. But uh, we'll see how this goes here. Okay guys, you guys have yourself a good one, and uh, Adios, amigos.